Okie doke. Today we go after two mathematicians. We go after Sakari and Legendre. Uh, they are the ones that brought this particular theorem to the forefront for us, showed us about the sum of the angles of a triangle, and we'll just jump right to the end. The Sakari Legendre theorem says if triangle ABC is any triangle, then the sum of its angle measures is less than or equal to 180 degrees. That's where we're going. To get there, we've got to build. We're going to build with three lemmas. Lemma the first. Given triangle ABC. The measure of any two of those angles, in this case we'll say CAB and ABC, is less than 180 degrees. I should probably not use 1 and 2. That gives you the idea that those are angle measures. Those are not. Uh, those two angles add up to less than 180 degrees. And the way we do this is relatively straightforward. We're going to extend ray AB to some point D. And once we do that, we know that the measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CBD is exactly 180 degrees. But the measure of angle CBD, well, hello, that's an exterior angle to this triangle. And so that has to be bigger than the measure of angle CAB. So if ABC and CBD is 180, but this has to be bigger than this remote interior angle, the measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CAB is less than 180 degrees. Because this is smaller than that, so the sum has to be less than 180 degrees. So far, so good. Two. Given triangle ABC with E on BC. So given triangle ABC with E somewhere on segment BC, then the sum of the angles in the triangle on the left plus the sum of the angle measures of the triangle on the right is the sum of the measures of triangle ABC plus 180 degrees. And this is actually very easy to do. In the triangle on the left, uh, we're going to call this alpha 1 and beta and this delta 1. And over here, we'll call this alpha 2 and delta 2 and maybe gamma. So when I look at this particular sum right here, that particular sum is alpha 1 plus beta plus delta 1 plus alpha 2 plus gamma plus delta 2. Well, that means I've got beta plus gamma plus alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus delta 1 plus delta 2. Everything on the left here is the sum of the angles in ABC, and delta 1 plus delta 2 is 180 degrees because of the linear pair theorem. So lemma 2. Lemma 2 is actually what we're going to use to prove lemma 3. We're going to use lemma 2 to prove lemma 3, and this is where things get bizarre. Given triangle ABC, there exists a D. Here, let's draw. Given triangle ABC, there exists a D such that D is not on line AB, and angle ABD has angles that add up to the same thing that angle a, triangle ABC does, and one of the interior angle measures in triangle ABD is less than or equal to half the measure of angle CAB. Yeah, I know. 
but we need it for Sicaria Legendre. We need it. So here we go. We're going to construct E, that's a midpoint, midpoint of CB, and we're going to use the ruler postulate as we have before to get congruent segments there, and we're going to connect the dots. So what do we know? We know those are vertical angles and they're congruent, and so the sum of triangle AEC is equal to the sum of the angle measures in triangle DEB because those two triangles are in fact congruent. So here's what lemma 2 does for us. Lemma 2 says let's look at E as a part of the red triangle. So the sum of triangle ABC is equal to the sum of triangle ABE plus the sum of triangle AEC minus 180 degrees. And then if we continue looking at the blue triangle, the sum of ABD is the sum of ABE plus the sum of BED minus 180 degrees. Well, those match, and those match, and those match. And so that means that the sum of triangle ABD is equal to the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABC. That's half the problem. The other half of the problem comes from this. One of these two angles is half of CAB or less. One of them has to be. One of them has to be. Doesn't matter which one it is, one of them has to be. And this angle also lives here. So one of the green dotted angles in triangle BAD has an in one of those interior angles is less than or equal to half of the measure of angle CAB. And that's lemma three. So we need that because we're going to prove this. We're going to prove that if triangle ABC is any triangle, that its angles add up to less than or equal to 180 degrees. And the way we do this is by contradiction. We suppose that the sum of triangle ABC is greater than 180 degrees. So if that's the case, it's equal to 180 degrees plus epsilon degrees, where epsilon is a real number and epsilon is positive. Now, here's the thing. There's a property of the real numbers, and if you haven't taken real analysis yet, you haven't studied it, it's a property of the real numbers called the Archimedean property. And it says that we can choose n. There is an n sufficiently large such that no matter how small epsilon is, if you multiply it by 2, by 2, by 2, by 2, over and over again, that is greater than the measure of angle CAB. Because the Archimedean property of the real numbers, the Archimedean property of the real numbers says that if I double something enough, I can make it as big as I want. Specifically, I want to make that as big as the measure of angle CAB. So, by lemma 3, lemma 3 says that there exists a triangle A1, B1, C1 such that the angle sum is the same and one angle is less than or equal to half of the measure of angle CAB. And if I do lemma 3 again, I get A2, B2, C2. And if I do it again and again and again, and so eventually there exists an nth iteration of this process. And one of the angles is less than or equal to a half times, half times, half times, half times, n times of the measure of angle CAB. Now that's a problem. That's a problem because the sum of a n b n c n has to be 180 degrees plus epsilon degrees 
and oh by the way that's the sum of two of the angles plus this third magical angle and this third magical angle is a thing that is less than epsilon because when I stick this in here, the 1 over 2 to the n and the 2 to the n are going to go away, and I'm going to have something that's less than epsilon. So now I have two angles adding up to more than 180 degrees because epsilon is clearly bigger than thing less than epsilon so the sum of the two angles must be greater than 180 degrees and I learned way back here that that can't happen and since that can't happen the Sicaria Legendre theorem says that the sum of the three angles must be less than or equal to 180 degrees Wow that's got a couple of significant corollaries. Uh, corollary the first. If I have some triangle and I have two remote interior angles and an exterior angle, alpha plus beta, ah, got it wrong. Alpha plus beta has to be less than or equal to gamma. In the Euclidean geometry, it is an equal sign, but in hyperbolic, it is not. Uh, I'll prove that when we gather in class. It won't be hard. Um, the other corollary that we should talk about is actually Euclid. Euclid says you've got L and L prime. He didn't call them that. If L and L prime meet on one side of the transversal, maybe over here, they meet on one side of the transversal, then the interior angles on that side of the transversal have to add up to less than 180 degrees. That's a nice corollary of Sicaria Legendre, and I think you will enjoy that. Uh, you will prove that when we gather in class next time. So that's a big theorem. That's a big, big theorem, and I'm glad we did it. That also pretty much ends our look at triangles for a little while. We go to quadrilaterals next, which I think you assumed was going to happen at some point. Okay, so there. See you soon.